Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today I was inspired by a TikTok video I saw by the creator Jenna Tropia, I hope I'm saying her name right. She did a top 10 essentials, and I figured since spring is just around the corner, I would do a top 10 Aritzia spring staples. If you want a like closet staples in general, definitely let me know. I think I will end up filming that video for you guys, but Today we're just talking about spring items. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is a good wool coat. Now this is transitional because in spring it still can get a little bit chilly. I like a really good oversized wool coat. I think it's a really nice staple to have in your closet. So of course I have multiple items but I'm just showing you guys a variation. If you're a person who is looking to build a you know minimalistic closet if you are looking to build a capsule wardrobe, I think everything that I'm going to recommend to you, the top 10 items for spring, definitely can transition and definitely you can wear obviously the wool coat in the winter, but even the items that I've picked out for the springtime, more or less you can wear them throughout any season that you are living through, like any climate that you're living through. So definitely I think an oversized wool coat is really important because it's just, it gets very chilly here still and even though it's spring and you want to wear warmer clothing uh, sometimes you just need to throw on the extra little layer what I like about the slouchy wool coat uh, and the ones that I'm showing in the video is specifically the slouch coat by Babaton and the only coat from Wilfred both of them are very similar silhouettes I think I have a video where I talk about the differences between the two however one of them is just slightly shorter but both of them are very slouchy very oversized and then if you're a person who wants an even more oversized coat you can definitely go up a size even more um, both of mine are in like the size 2 which is like a medium size but I really think having a basic neutral wool coat really helps with your wardrobe. I would keep it neutral just because it's easier to pair with more things so if you did decide to add a funky little top or pants then it would pair easier than if you had like a bright green bright pink jacket and then those things kind of clash together if you're wearing like a really funky outfit but once again if you some people do dress really colorful and it looks amazing on them so I'm just a person that is very minimalistic when it comes to color like you can see the color palette in my wardrobe is very white bright and I have like now recently added some <laughs> chocolate brown into my wardrobe so take all this info with a grain of salt this is just like my top 10 picks but I would definitely go for a lighter colored wool coat next up definitely need a comfy pair of pants and I think I've talked about these modern utility Wilfred pants like every single year and hands down my favorite ones are probably the white colored ones that I have they are just so versatile they go with my whole wardrobe and you guys already know like I just love I already own four pairs of them but if I had to pick a staple I would definitely go for the white pair just because it's easier for me to pair with stuff too but if you're someone who wants like a caramel pair if you want something a little bit more funky I have a blue pair myself so if you had to pick one definitely pick a color that you think would be versatile for you and you can't have a top 10 picks without a basic t-shirt the one I'm wearing here is by TNA it's a TNA ribbed cropped t-shirt I love them so much they are so comfortable I like the ribbed material I like the cropped length and I think it's just very easy to style you can see that I have it styled here with my pants and then in the next pick I have it styled with an oversized button-up shirt here I'm showing you guys two different types so I have a button-up that is blue striped and then I have a white button-up as well because I just think both of those really work well in the closet if you only had to pick one definitely pick one that works with your color wardrobe and palette but I can't get enough button-ups like I have so many of them now it's actually ridiculous but an oversized poplin cotton button-up is so versatile in the spring closet moving on if you want to add something a little bit more dressy I would definitely add a pair of dress pants the ones that I'm showing here are the Wilfred effortless dress pants I have the 
birch color on but I definitely think a black pair would work well in a top 10 picks as well uh, I just happened to have the white pair on and no rhyme or reason I just had the white pair on I did film the black pair but the footage was really blurry unfortunately so I just scrapped that material for you but generally a effortless pant it doesn't even have to be the effortless pant any sort of trouser works well I think Aritzia even has like the carrot pant they have a ton of trousers so the ones I have here are specifically effortless, but any sort of trouser pant would be amazing. Wouldn't be a top 10 picks unless I picked a little turtleneck. The turtleneck I'm wearing here is the Wilfred Free Tamu t-shirt. I have it in two colors. I love this little turtleneck so much. It feels like sweater material, but also it's very nice and light, so it's not too hot. And then I like pairing my jewelry over it, and I think it works with anything. So like, once again, if if I were to wear it with the effortless pants, they work really well. If I were to wear it with the modern utility pants, they work really well. So I think it's really nice um, underneath a Oxford shirt as well. So I just think like everything that I have shown really just ties in together. I lost the footage for the next two clips, but for the warmer spring days, definitely a Babaton Sculpt Knit crop tank is amazing to have. And also it wouldn't be in essentials without a cardigan. This one specifically is the Sunday Best Cooper. The last two items, of course, for spring specifically, we still have to talk about outerwear. One, the Ghana shirt jacket. Whether you get the cropped, the regular, or the long one, a Ghana shirt jacket is for sure an amazing piece to have. If I could only pick one, I would do the Ghana shirt jacket regular. It's so versatile, it's a shirt jacket, so you could definitely wear it so many ways. And it's in felted wool material, which makes it a little bit more, I would say warm, but it's also very light at the same time. And I just like the look of having a shirt jacket. It's a little bit more casual. You could wear it with the effortless pants to casual up an outfit. You could wear it with the modern utility pants to just keep it super casual. And then I think I've shown before too, but if you have the long version, you could totally belt it and wear it as a dress. I think the shirt jacket is a must. And then lastly, I would do a trench coat. The two trench coats I'm showing here are the Group by Babaton Skyler. That one is a bit more of a thin trench. And then I have the Babaton Lawson trench, which is more of a traditional trench. I like these because you could also layer the shirt jacket underneath, like the Ghana jacket. You could totally layer it underneath and have it as a layer. And then it looks kind of like a blazer-esque look. Um, but the trench is such a must for springtime because I don't know, when spring comes around, I really think about trench coats. I really like having that oversized piece especially when it comes closer to the end of spring because then you don't want to wear your wool coat anymore as I showed the wool coat in the beginning the trench coat can act as the oversized piece it just really adds a little bit to your outfit and it zhuzhes up the whole look it really elevates everything so I that's what I really like about the trench coat all right guys that's everything that's my top 10 picks let me know what are your top 10 picks I try to pick things that really are able to mix and match into your wardrobe. I think these things just mesh together and work well. So if you're a person that likes a little bit more color, you can just tailor and alter this to your taste. You don't have to have these items. They're just my top 10 pick items. And I really like having them in my wardrobe. It works so well. I wear these items time and time again, and I just find they are classic pieces to have. So I hope this helped you guys. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at underscore hello Harley. Make sure to follow me on TikTok at hello Harley, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.